So I'm thinking that I've had a brain injury and I don't know how it happened but the injury has meant that I've lost my sense of taste and it's affected my body in terms of moving normally. So I'm finding it very difficult to walk and um, it's just awkward. But the main problem for me, um, I feel, is my sense of taste, which is gone. And I, I think I have it sometimes. I'm not sure, because my memory is affected by the injury as well. But um, I'm, I'm really not sure. I can taste sugar to an extent and salt to an extent, but flavours are, are missing. And I never realised the value of, of taste, but I certainly do now. So I really don't know if I'm going to recover to any extent, or if this is how I have to live. And that's really awful to have to do that. I'm going to have to find some of the ways of making life interesting, I suppose. But no memory and no taste is very difficult to deal with. Um, I should be grateful, I suppose, that things are a lot worse. And I know that some people had to deal with things a lot worse. I could have lost an arm or a leg or something. Can you imagine that? It's just so awful to have to live like that. And many people have to do so. And it could still happen to me. I could still lose an arm or a leg. Just surviving like that without going crazy seems impossible to me. Because I'm finding this situation that I'm in so difficult. To have lost a, a hand or an arm or a leg. Um... I have no idea how those people manage to survive that and get past that situation. Life can be amazingly cruel and tragic and I never realised it before but now I can see it clear as day. The things that can happen are just amazing. And I suppose I know now that insurance against eventualities is very important and I wish I had, I had it. But um, all I can do is try and make sure that my children are, are protected in this way. Because financial help is so important in this world. I'm finding it very difficult to, to manage my mood with no taste because taste food is so important in my life now and I'm just glad I have it. I'm not in Cambodia or somewhere like that where there's no support and help to handle this situation. So again, I'm thinking about these people that are suffering, like me, for example, in these terrible countries, or suffering a lot worse than me, having lost a body part or something. I simply don't know how they managed to do it. And I'm so impressed if they can survive, or they have to survive it. But um, it's unbelievable.